What's going on my fellow residents, it's me the Frozen Cameron, and today we're going to continue through our blind journey through Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we arrived in New Donk Kingdom and had to get rid of the giant bug, but in this episode, we're going to go down into the sewers to do some underground work. Uh, let me ask you something, how am I supposed to inter- uh, inter- uh, bleh, I can't speak inspect the power plant if nobody can get this manhole cover off. Well, we're probably just gonna have to do that. It's kind of- that's kind of- that shouldn't be how that works, but whatever. Like, you can literally just move yourself like that. That's not how... I really feel like that's not how manholes work. But time for the first underground level of the entire game. Well, first one that I've encountered, anyways. Hey, there's rats here. <gasps> he died. <laughs> I'm like, hey, that's interesting, and then he just up and dies. Oh, we're supposed to go on that when it's... Oh, no, it's constantly moving, okay. Not gonna focus too much on the uh, enemies unless it's like that group there that was just in the way. Let me go over here. Ow. I probably should have just gotten rid of that. But let's get these coins right here. There we go. Uh, I wish there was. Nah, I have to hit it from the side, oh. unfortunately. I'm just landing in all the poison. Whenever there's poison in these levels, I'm just doing really bad around them. I don't know why. I just, I just am. It happened with the Wooded Kingdom, now it's happening here. And really and truly, it shouldn't be. Alright, this is going to be a little sketchy, I should have waited. Uh, no, I'm gonna die. There's nothing I can do. There we go. That went way easier. I also see the Bowser Kirby. When did you get down here? Anyway. Yeah, actually, when did you get down here? Because the manhole cover wasn't... It wasn't... Whatever. I wanted to see a first hand, well, get a first hand look at the problem down here, and it's clearly those piranha plants. Uh, looks like that monster's friends need to be taught a new donk lesson. As in, just go up there and hit him. Or jump on them. Whichever. There we go. Well, that was a relatively easy way to solve the problem. To be honest, they probably could have taken care of that. I mean, they do have people down here, so they probably did try to. So that's good at least, hopefully, if that's what it's actually implying by there being people down here. I'm really hoping that's the case, because if not, I'm going to be upset. Let me talk to these guys. And their frames was... Their frames were really bad for a second. And I see some power moons down there. Don't think I don't see those. Oh wait, I can't collect those. <laughs> they're actually using that. I forgot, they're using that for the uh, city power. So I can't take those. Thank you, Mario. Now that you uh, have powered up the city, it's time for the festival to begin. Now we can finally kick off the festival in style and power, shall we? Oh hey, would you like to participate? I mean, I did all this anyways, might as well. Uh, I know you'll do what's proud. But yeah, I did all this to have the festival happen, and I do still need power moons anyway, so if I can get them through here, that would be nice. But, I did all this anyways, might as well. Well, I'm turning my TV up now. <laughs> Yep, and now I have to kind of try to talk over this song so it doesn't get copyrighted. Yay! But I'm probably going to get copyrighted for anything else in this game anyways, because Nintendo loves to do that kind of stuff for the <laughs> for their games. But regardless. By the way, speaking of this song, uh, one thing is that the, uh, like the game case for this game actually has the lyrics to the song on it. Uh, okay, this that looked weird. <laughs> I was worried I would like fall off or something. But another thing is that this song is also sung by the same voice actor as uh, Tails from Sonic, so that's interesting. The, just try to think about that for a second. <laughs> you went from Tails, I mean that's a still a pretty decently major role, and then you went to Pauline in Super Mario Odyssey, which is right now one of the most okay physics. Sure, that's how that works, you're not Sonic, and even Sonic is stretching it, but whatever. What? Why are we upside? 
physics, <laughs> please. <laughs> Whatever. But, uh, like, going from Tails, which is a pretty decently major role. I mean, see, he's in, like, most of the Sonic games, if not... Well, not all. Like, most of the modern Sonic games, if not all of the modern Sonic games. And then you went to Pauline in Super Mario Odyssey, which is, like, one of the most... Like, this game is a uh, contender of the year for a lot of people. Well, contender for game of the year for a lot of people. And I see the uh, Donkey Kong over here. Oh, wait, I forgot. There's also an extended version for this uh, song. So, yeah, I haven't gotten to that yet. <laughs> well, actually, I'm pretty sure I just got to it in uh, this. But, like, in terms of anything else, I haven't really, uh, like, listened to the actual full version. I'm just going to go up here, get rid of Donkey Kong real quick. There we go. We are indeed jumping. Let's get up to Pauline. Thank you again, Mario. I'm dedicating this festival to you. We couldn't have done it without your help. Please accept this as a gift. And we got a, uh... I forget what this thing's called again. <laughs> Why did I forget what it was called? Uh... Multi Moon. It's, I think I think it's like just a, such a generic name that I don't remember what the actual name is, which is unfortunate. That's pretty much it. We we ain't gotta do anything. Well, we don't have to really do much else. So, I guess we can just head off to the next kingdom. Okay, so we jumped from seventy to maybe ninety one. I think that's what we jumped up to. Yeah, ninety one. All right, where to next? Do we have another fork in the road? No, we don't. Okay. Oh, no, we do. Okay, I couldn't tell. Yep, uh, the Snow Kingdom, or the Seaside Kingdom. Uh, well, we have to go to both at some point. We went to the bottom last time, let's go to the top and go to the Snow Kingdom. And you know, also, because Frozen Cavern, yeah, shut up. Ice powers are cool, shut up. Whether this will be a good ice level, that's kind of depending on how I feel when we actually get in there. What an amazingly eccentric festival. Let's keep that energy going as we keep up the chase. And skipping that, uh, let's check out the Snow Kingdom next. It looks so cold, and it sounds like the races in town are quite popular. And the prize is a frost frosted cake. Is that healthy? <laughs> it probably isn't, to be honest. But, I mean, if they manage to make a... Well, cake technically isn't healthy to begin with, but... I mean, if they're able to make a food out of it, then it... Maybe good? Probably not. My goodness, I can't see where that is. <laughs> so much snow. This suit is obviously not made for this, but whatever. Wow, he immediately, he immediately got all the uh, cold, well, snow right on top of him. By the way, I do know that uh, Mario doesn't take damage from any of this, and from what Cappy's saying right there, it looks like we can take damage from the water, which isn't surprising. I mean, Galaxy did the... Okay, this is interesting. But I know Galaxy did the uh, same thing, where if you stayed in the water, well, cold water for too long, then you would end up taking damage at some point. And this is also interesting, having these um, wind turbine things. To be honest, this... Area is kind of giving me somewhat of a Breath of the Wild feel, especially with the fact that the uh, turbines are there. Well, not turbines, the wind currents. Also, it looks like snowflakes are the currency here. That seems kind of broken, but whatever. <laughs> like, you could just get snowflakes. Oh, okay. Where is this? I, I thought that was like a pedal store or something. What is this? Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. Uh, This was a complete accident, but sure. I'll take it. <laughs> it's not exactly like I can do anything else. I guess we could just do some exploring around here. Oh, well, there's a <laughs> good thing I didn't knock them, those uh, boxes. Because it looks like wall jumping off. Yeah, wall jumping off the top will knock over boxes, as weird as the actual physics of it is. Like, it'll knock down a bunch of boxes. I feel like that's a lot more than it's actually worth. But this is. This is a very interesting area. <laughs> I just came along a random, like, tribe underneath all the snow. Alright, so let me, let me talk to you. There we go. Let's get that. And it doesn't look like they have anything new. Then again, I haven't looked throughout the entire menu yet, so... For all I know, there could easily be something new in here. 
no. Imagine running around <laughs> with this in the freezing cold. That would be actually stupid. I don't have enough for anything in here. Makes sense considering I did just fall down here on complete accident with literally nothing. And the only actual currency I got was from the, uh, what was it? The four that were up there. Wait, there's also coins there. Uh, I'm not going to be able to wall jump up there, though. Okay, this is another thing where we have to dress like you guys. Or dress in the attire that's in this world. Not world. <laughs> Stop calling it worlds, Frozen. Because that's not what it is. And just piles of snow. That's nice. Oh, there's the thing. If I can land on it. There we go. To be honest, I wasn't really shining at all. It was underneath all this snow here, but whatever. And obviously I'm doing everything before I actually, you know, go out to do... And in a random chest. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, obviously I'm just doing a bunch of random stuff to try and get all the, uh, power moons that I can. Because you're not able to just go throughout all this while just going through the, uh, story missions alone. You do have to do some form of exploration at some point, which I find nice. Alright, nice Oko Cavern. Not the same thing as, you know, Frozen Cavern, but whatever. Did he have a... Yeah, he has a Santa hat on. Oh, you can jump on the Goombas, Goombas and it'll take over it. Okay, let's just continue before I end up dying. <laughs> I have to be really careful. I also need to remember that they don't, uh... What is it? Like, they don't lose traction on, like, the ice or whatever. There we go. Uh, what is... Oh, we need four Goombas, okay. That's actually kind of something that's uh, similar to... What was it? It was like in 3D World, where it had like the... I forget the actual name of the power up, but it was like a... Duplicate Cherry or something like that. Where there were also some... Uh, like switches or whatever, where you needed another... Um... Like where you needed a certain amount of... Uh, duplicate Marios, or whatever character you had. And that way you would actually be able to go do stuff. It, gotta be extremely careful. Uh, how do we get that down? Can't just hit it. We're gonna have to come back to that later. Because I don't feel like risking trying to jump over to that. Six and a half hours later. Okay, well now I know what to do. I couldn't see... Okay, now I actually see the shadow underneath these things. Well, on top of them. But... Couldn't see it before, and I thought I had to ground pound on it because it was cracked. Oh, and that's where that is. Okay. And we just get this, and then we can pretty much head out. And we only need four more to head over to the next kingdom? That's kind of surprising, actually, with it being that small of an amount needed. And we have to do four of these. Okay. We managed to figure out what we need to do before we actually talk to anyone. I haven't talked to a single person out here yet. Wait, that's just a picture though. Who took the picture and put it up there? Whatever. Let's just head down to the next uh, trial, I guess. I don't know what these things are actually called. Hey, more shards. And I see stuff in the ground there. That's nice. Oh, they only move when we move. That... Okay. I don't think there's any enemies that are, like, similar to this. I don't know. It can't be in the, uh, ice there. Almost a game of Pac-Man, but not really. Well, actually, it can still be seen as Pac-Man, to be honest. I mean, you have... How many ghosts is this? Four? And they're all chasing after Pac-Man right now, so... To be honest, that was a pretty easy trial. I want to see what happens when... You're, okay, so that's what happens, and then it crushes you. Okay, so that's how we get those. Let me go get those real quick, and then I can head over. Because I was wondering how we're supposed to get these when, like, nothing's over here, but... Okay, we're gonna get this little chest here first. And then... Can I jump all the way over to this next one? Probably not. I'm trying to move the camera so I can see it. Uh, that's gonna be a little weird, but let's try it anyways. No, I bit to... Okay, whatever. It's close enough. Like, diving is a little awkward for me, because, like, instead of pressing both the buttons at the same time, which is what I'm trying to do, 
what I'm pretty sure I have to do is ground pound and then press the Y button instead. Because usually when it comes to like a, what is it, like button combinations, I'm used to having both of them be done at the same time. But I guess it's more efficient maybe to have one button before the other one. But at the same time, it's still, ugh. Oh, there's a lot of snow here. Let's clear all that out. Hey, I managed to do that first try this time. Hopefully I can continue to do that. And I won't actually need it to, like, beat a boss or something. <laughs> because if I do, oh goodness. What on earth? Okay, I almost fell off. Oh, Cappy. D like, don't, don't get taken away from me. I don't need that again. Alright, over to here. I don't see anything down there, so we, we're good there. I see this here. Yeah, I was about to say, that looked a little weird. Well, this technically isn't behind the mountain, it's still, like, a part of the mountain. So, yeah, that doesn't make too much sense, but whatever. I didn't make the names. Oh, we have a boss here. Okay. <laughs> that was sudden. And it's one of the Brutals? Alright. We got the Frost... Frosted Cake. That's still a weird sentence to say. The boss man sure is fussy about cake. Reckon we can get... Well, reckon we got him the best one, though. I don't know why I can't speak. So I'm assuming they were also bosses for these guys in the other areas, but I just hadn't found them. <laughs> That's more than likely the case, but we're gonna try and do this now. Um, uh, Don't tell me it's only on one of the two caps. Okay. There we go. Uh, am I? Yeah, I can make that. There we go. Let me get to one of these rocks. Come on, give me a heart instead. There we go. I'm stupid. <laughs> I needed this anyways. Alright, what now? Okay, so it was pretty much the same thing except with more hats. Alright, so I kind of forgot... Oh wait, no, the last phase was basically it went right where you were instead of being at a shorter distance. So we're just gonna wait. Oh wait, no, okay, he changed things up. That or there's like an extra hit that we have to do. No, okay, he just changed things up. Give me this. But yeah, a friend of mine told me that you can just miss out on complete bosses in certain areas, which is probably what we did in the Lost Kingdom. Maybe. I feel like the Lost Kingdom might be a uh, area that didn't have a boss to it. But I could completely miss out on other ones. There might have been another one in uh, the Woody Kingdom, but since I'm stupid and couldn't find out how to get, actually get out of there, yeah, I couldn't find it. But we're not going to worry about that now. He's, um, we have one more trial left. This is an interesting area. Oh, I see the issue here. Let's not get hit by those. Uh, hmm. Okay, we can't take control of those, unfortunately. Oh, no. Okay. That was very close. Had to be very, very close with these. Can I just knock this over? No? Okay. Uh, do I hit you? Oh, I can take control of you. Okay. I didn't realize that he had a hat. There we go. That's really all we needed to do, if I'm correct. There might be something on top of this, though, so let me... Okay, wait. I saw a little bit of a shadow. Or is that just an X? I'm pretty sure that's just an X, but I'm going to try and get up here anyways. There we go. I have to be really careful here. Nope! There we go. You gotta look out for the like smallest areas in the game uh how are we supposed to get those oh speaking of which i actually have quite a lot of these i need to spend these on some uh items at some point there we go i can just yeah i can just walk over them all right uh doesn't look like there's really mu oh i see the reason why we need these it's actually like really messed up i'm just knocking all these guys into poison and they'll just die instantly mario's a really messed up man He'll, just hit, he'll take control of someone and then use that same person to just get rid of everyone else. That's that's really messed up when you think about it. Come on. Before he... Oh, what? Okay, whatever. I was thinking that it would be a uh, power moon, but no. Unfortunately, no. But I'm still really curious. Do they ever, like, wake up after... Well, not wake up. Get unstunned after they 
while Mario leaves. Because I've never actually hung around long enough to actually figure that out. The Bound Bowl Grand Prix. Okay, time for the racing minigame. Yeah, to the race course, but first, we're going to go over here and get some things. Because I want to... Well, I need to finally figure out what one of those uh, power stars that work before, like, with the costume thing. Because I haven't done that yet. So I need to change out of that and change out of that. And since I have enough money, I'll just buy one more thing. Now, I'll just buy a rug. Why not? Mario looking nice and cozy inside of his giant coat. There's also this up here, so let's get up here before we go to the races. You are probably dressed, and that's what I am, so let's go. Oh, so no it's in uh, another area. Let me get rid of this first. Or not. Okay, I thought we could get rid of that. Never mind. Oh, it looks like there's also a lot of... Oh, no, those are shards. Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, those are a lot of power moves. <laughs> that doesn't make too much sense. And unfortunately, we can't ground pound when we're like this, so we're kind of just stuck having to do all this. By the way, I need to listen to the uh, music outside of the game because I haven't really gotten a chance to actually listen to anything. Which does really, really suck. But I'm just going to tank the hit here. Trying to not tank the hit is going to take way too long, so. And I also see a path upward, but issue is, I don't see anything that we can do to get up there. But, oh wait, <laughs> there we go. Hidden blocks, of course. Okay, up here. We just run along these. Oh, uh, that was going to be sketchy, okay. 12 seconds later. There we go. And now we can head back down and get the one... That's over... Oh wait, I have to leave this thing first, and then I can get it. There we go. So I guess all these are just other areas that you can go to. I mean, it's not really bad. I was expecting to like maybe have like some other kind of like minigame thing, but you know, another level, it's not that bad either. Let's head down. By the way, it's kind of weird that your entrance to a race is through a pit. That doesn't make too much sense to me, but whatever. Oh, I, I was thinking we'd have to talk to the Elder. Can't start without one more racer. Whoa, how convenient. <laughs> Let's just go over to our races. One racer won't come out of the waiting room. What's taking so long? Oh, goodness. What's happening to the one racer? Oh, are we having to do platforming to get to this racer? That's still weird. I mean, as a platformer, it makes sense, but, like, logically, that it still doesn't. Like, I don't know if that's just me, but it just doesn't make sense for you to set your waiting rooms up like that. Race? I don't want to. The other races are too serious. I don't stand a chance. If someone else wanted to race, they would be welcome to take my place. Well, hmm, okay. I guess we'll be the ones doing that. Considering that's usually how racing games go. It's like, oh, you need, like, we need like one more racer and we don't know where that last racer is. So can you do it or something? Something around those lines, please. It's weird how that also just loops around to here, but whatever. Let's just talk to this person now. Okay, this is actually messed up. I'm making him race and he's not wanting to. Okay, this is... I didn't... Okay, let's just let's just go do the race. Our Frost Frosted Cake was stolen, so the prize will be a multi-moon. Are you ready to race? Yes, will I win? Probably not. Thankfully, we're just here to do some training for now. I wonder if it matters if I go off the track at all. Probably, well, probably, but... I'm just going to try my best not to. I also have to get really lucky with cutting corners. <laughs> this is an interesting race. Alright. Let's start. Not like there's much else to do for bound bowling. But yeah, getting that extra like boost is a little bit difficult. I'm trying to make sure I don't go out of bounds. I don't think it really matters if we go out of bounds too much. It, yeah, it'll just slow us down a little bit. How am I in first? Okay, whatever. Like, I swear, I'm behind other people, but it says I'm in first. I don't understand it, but whatever. By the way, I imagine that this would hurt a lot. <laughs> because you're kind of just bouncing around. 
like you're you're just bouncing like this would hurt a lot i would imagine but it's for good sport i guess so you know it's fine hopefully i don't lose at the very last second there we go what a race you were like a supersonic snowman your prize is a multi-moon I'm surprised that a multi-moon is a prize, because it's usually, like, just one singular, like, uh, moon. Well, not really. Like, in other games, whenever it's, like, a race or something, it's usually just one. But then again, those other games don't have multi, well, multi-stars or shines or anything like that. You only just get one at a time, so. Eh. Alright, so that seems to be all the story stuff. Uh, what is that up there? The sun's out. It's so cold, though. Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, Alright, let's put these all in, and then we can figure out where exactly we can go next. And we've also finally gotten 100 out of 600. <laughs> That's gonna be fun trying to get the rest. Oh right, the Sea Kingdom, I forgot. Or Seaside Kingdom. Yeah, we can head over there, but we're going to have to do that in the next episode. We have a lot of kingdoms here. How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 9 kingdoms. <sighs> That's a lot, but in the next episode, we're going to head over to the Seaside Kingdom, but until next video, take care.